Hey guys, Dr. Yerby here. In this video, we're going to be going over how to use FTK to acquire a drive. So in this drive, I'm going to find the smallest USB drive I have. Uh, so I have my Blue Storm drive. So I'm not sure exactly what's on this. Um, but what I want to do is I want to connect this to my computer. Typically, we would want to connect this to a write blocker. Uh, or at least we would want to make a change in our registry to make this device non-writable. By connecting it to my system and having it writable, I'm kind of I'm validating one of the principles of forensics uh, to keep evidence original, not contaminate it, not change it. Uh, but for this demonstration, I just want to demonstrate how to use FTK Imager. So again, I'm going to connect this drive to my machine. So the drive is connecting. It's installing the drivers. Right, so it says it's ready to use. So now, let's see if we can get to the drive. Okay, and it looks like on this drive I have an Ubuntu ISO file on here. All right, is that the drive? Yep. Right, so if I want to save some, let's see, some new. New text document. Hopefully there's enough space. Alright, so at this point this is what's on my drive. Now I want to uh, delete a few of these. Okay. So I'm going to delete those, yep. And so now let's go ahead and go to the recycle bin and empty the recycle bin as well. Recycle bin, here we go. Yep, delete those. Okay, so now everything I've deleted should be gone, right? So now what I want to do is start FTK Imager. And it'll ask me for control. Most forensic software you always want to run as administrator. Um, now we're going to go to File and we want to add evidence. And the type of drive that we're we're trying to get right now is a physical drive. That's that USB drive that's plugged into my computer. Um, if it's a, a drive that we already imaged before, it'll be an image file. And then we won't worry about those others. Okay, so we need to select which one is the device. So select that, click finish, what we have here. All right, so we can start seeing some information. Here are some of the pictures. Uh, here's some other stuff that's been deleted. So sometimes we'll be able to see some of the deleted uh, information and sometimes we will not. Uh, so here's some deleted ones. You'll see the the name of the the uh, image. The first letter is replaced with an exclamation point, marking that it's been deleted. So here's one of those ones. So this uh, was originally called teach.jpg, and so we can see that it's an exclamation point each.jpg, and then we can see date modified. Here's my new text document. This is the one that's been deleted. You see the little red X. And then here's the one that was left on the machine. Uh, here's that Ubuntu uh, install file that was on there already. And then here are some other items uh, that were deleted back in 2014. So depending on how much of the file's been overwritten, uh, you might be able to view it down here in the viewer, uh, or it might be fragments of the file. And then you won't be able to see uh, very much. Uh, you might be able to get some additional information over here in the properties window, such as when it was created, when it was modified, um, things like that. But results will vary. And uh, let's see what's the oldest file we have on here. So we have some stuff back in 2009. So it's not necessarily the date that matters. Uh, so this Thing was modified in August of 2009, uh, hence the Blue Storm logo on the on the physical drive. So, all right, that's it. Thanks.